bright and early? That's actually not true. It is not bright and early. It's bright, but it's, I don't even want to say what time it is. So this is technically not morning cardio, but it is still cardio before the lift. So 30 minutes on the recumbent bike. And then after a few more meals and hours chilling at home, I'll go back to the gym, smack my arms around like I fucking have a serious problem with them, and come back home and eat some more food. So for the day, I'm already 1,800 calories in. Um, I'm not going to tell you the source of those calories because you'll get mad. But very carbed up. I didn't actually track the macros. I'm going to have to. Fuck. Ugh. There we go. That's a little better. Yeah, fuck it, whatever. Whenever it's really bright, the camera gets kind of fucky. But, 30 minutes of cardio, on the regular. Why aren't you fucking doing it, man? Can you give me a good reason? Can you tell me specifically why? Can you stand up in a courtroom and testify to the fact that for whatever reason, for you, you're just completely unable to do cardio and convince a jury of your peers? <sighs> Sorry, man. That is a... If I'm the prosecution and you're the defense, looks like I've got a bit of a grenade for, for me. AKA, you're not going to win. And I don't really... Like, I can understand... Let me just kind of uh, put myself in the mind of someone who doesn't want to do cardio and is dead against it. So let's just think about this. For one thing, bro science propaganda, a.k.a. cardio kills gains. I think a lot of people, that's probably one of the biggest reasons they don't do it. And sheep mentality. Right? <laughs> oh, other people say it, so it must be true. Okay, no cardio for me. Fool. Second reason. Just laziness. Just laziness. Because you know, I think a lot of people do understand that cardio doesn't kill your gains. You know, daily cardio is not going to fucking make you shrink down and atrophy. But, you know, they also don't really see the fact that they can be benefiting, benefiting from it. And just sort of say, eh, whatever. Who needs it? Screw it. Not cool. Not freaking cool. And then similarly to uh, to that category, just anybody who's fucking lazy, man. Actually, no, okay, there's, there's one more after this. But dudes who just don't, just don't care, I guess, you know. And you don't have to go to the gym every time. You can get a little seated bike for your house. Uh, maybe 150 bucks Craigslist. Ask one of your buddies who has a truck to load it up for you. Uh, personally, I prefer going to the gym to do it, but that's just kind of because I'm a gym rat and I like being in the gym as often as possible. That's where all my buddies are. But that does kind of add to the commute, you know, because if I'm doing 30 minutes of cardio, if I do it at my house where I have a little seated bike, I can wake up, you know, play on my phone for a second and then jump straight on it. Zero downtime, right? 30 minutes of cardio done just like that. Pretty efficiently. Because, I mean, of the 30 minutes of cardio, not much prep time since the bike is right in my kitchen. But when you go to the gym to do your cardio, it gets a little trickier because then you got to get in the car, you got to really fucking get dressed. You can't just do your, do your cardio in your pajamas. Unless you want to wear pajamas to the gym. I do see that a lot. No comment. Um... And then you have to get to the gym, you park, you talk a little bit. Maybe you didn't have to go to the bathroom when you were when you left, but now you do. So your 30 minutes of cardio turned into, you know, including the commute and just walking in and out of the gym, it turned into fucking, you know, an hour and a half. Not too surprising. You could probably cut down on that if your gym is pretty close to where you live or if you're uh, just responsible and you don't get lost in... You know, chit-chatting with everybody around you. A little bit, unfortunately, that's not me. I'm always taking my fucking time. But 
Let's think what else. Oh yeah. I mean, and then there's just characters who are they're fucking too busy. You know, if you got an actual real tight schedule and then you this is more kind of catered towards my older audience, but you throw some kids in the mix too. <laughs> it's it, that's going to get tricky for you. You know, and I'm not um I'm not saying it's not. But I think it's still worth it. I mean, it's worth trying to balance this shit out. You know? And if he if that has to uh sort of include like packing your work clothes with you and then changing and showering at the gym after your cardio, then that might just be what you have to fucking do. I'm a little bit spoiled there. I don't have so many responsibilities. But regardless of your current state, bulking, dieting, maintaining, cardio is going to fucking help you. And, I mean, let's just do a full-on cardio rant of the way. What are you going to gain? Actually, what are you going to lose? What do you have to lose from cardio first off? Well, a little bit of time. And also, it's a little bit hard. You sit on the bike and you kind of pedal. You're a little uncomfortable. You're breathing heavy. You're sweating. That's the down payment. But what's your return? What's the return on your investment? For one thing, better endurance. So whether you're dieting down or bulking, you'll be able to do hard-ass sets totally fucking destroy my quads or my chest on bench or whatever and then have a cardio system that's strong enough to you know, be able to re-oxygenate whatever the fuck I just you know destroyed and then I can do a set in a reasonable amount of time you know, somebody who's seriously out of cardiovascular shape they could be fucking jacked they do one set of squats and they could be out for fucking 15 minutes straight uh, luckily I'm not that bad because I do my fucking cardio but even taking out those really crazy sets, you're just going to have better lifts, man. If your cardio is better, you're going to have better blood flow. And what does better blood flow mean? Right? Better pumps. And in more, way than, in more ways than one. Again, kind of uh, referencing my older crowd. So, in terms of training, you will get a tangible feeling benefit. But then also, dieting and bulking bulking, dieting and bulking, body fat is going to be a little bit less of a fucking problem for you. Everybody understands the benefit of cardio when you're dieting down. You're trying to burn more energy so you can burn more fat when you're in your calorie deficit. All good and dandy. Makes a lot of sense to me. We get the gist. Nobody argues with someone doing cardio when they're dieting down. But for whatever reason, people do argue with doing cardio on a bulk. It's like, and I understand the logic. And it's not flawed. Like, it does make sense. Because people will say, like, oh, crap, if I burn 300 calories a day on the bike, that's 300 less calories that I'm actually using to build muscle. You know, or I'm going to have to eat an extra 300 calories to make up for that. Which, you're on the right track, which I do like. But you got to remember, the fact that you did burn 300 calories means that you're new basal metabolic rate or like the amount of energy that you burn throughout the whole day it's not just 300 calories higher so you're not creating a problem for yourself to eat that amount of calories if not more than that amount of calories to fucking um you know replenish that energy but by burning it off you're gonna fucking be hungry man if you had a full day of fucking just being relatively active right this um kind of reminds me when i was younger just fucking Know, running around playing outside or riding your bikes around the city by the time you come back if you've been actually fucking active for a while you're just gonna be fucking hungry right? you're gonna be starving so I do not consider cardio to be a downfall uh, of an activity when bulking as far as I can tell it's just improving my ability to fucking you know burn through carbs and shit I'm a more of a uh, more of an effective machine so I can eat more calories and not put on so much body fat just from the fact that I'm you know, fucking pumping more energy through my system if you can kind of follow that logic. So, but I think there's no place for somebody skipping cardio. And anyone who is... <laughs> I say that... <laughs> that's almost a silly way to even preface that statement. Everybody's fucking skipping their cardio. And all of you guys who are doing that, look, you've only got fucking benefits to gain. And you should notice them pretty fucking quickly. 
Just because I'm always talking about cardio doesn't mean sometimes I don't skip it, even for kind of relatively long periods of time. On, um, I've been good about it as of late, but like two bulks ago, I wasn't doing my cardio. Uh, and kind of just because my, <clears throat> my routine was such that I kind of had to stay up pretty late <gasps> and wake up really early. So rather than an hour of cardio, I want to get an extra hour of sleep. So again, this is kind of getting into somebody who has a really busy schedule. If you have to cut down on your sleep to fit cardio in, then I think you're just digging yourself down into a hole. You know, Proper rest probably fucking takes precedent over getting your cardio in. But I wasn't doing my cardio for months, and I was you know bulked up on a bazillion amount of carbs from sweets and fucking steaks and everything else. So I could tell when I would bike to class, um, the way my campus is set up, which really sucks for me, is it's uh, it's pretty much a big ass fucking hill. My house is down here, and all my classes are over here. So I've got to bike uphill both ways. On a okay, well, you no know, uphill on the way, and then it turns into downhill, and then same thing when I come back. But if I'm ever late to class and I got to haul ass up uphill on a bike, I can tell it fucking destroys me. I'm like huff. I'm like, by the time I even get to the class, lock up my bike and, you know, sit down, I'm still fucking breathing heavy. Because I can tell my fucking cardio was, was trash. Much worse than it normally is. But then, after just a few weeks of actually sitting on the, the seated bike like I like doing, cruising the class, no problem. Not even sweating. So. I don't, I don't know, man. You, know, you can do whatever you want. Just kind of putting this out there. And it's not like everything I... You should listen to absolutely everything anybody says. Right? Including me. But this is one thing where... I'm going to stand behind it pretty fucking strongly. You should get your ass on a fucking... Some type of cardio equipment. You don't even have to do it daily. Uh, I kind of like doing it daily. Because that's sort of just how I go about my training. Um, in a sense, I kind of like to think of every day as just another day. So wake up... Every day, put your clothes on every day, cardio every day, train every day, eat every day, sleep every day. That's kind of how I see it. And rest when necessary. Like if I'm sick or if I just have a lot of shit going on. And that's what I've got to do. But even just a few times a week, if you're not doing any, you will notice a fucking difference. And if we can just get straight down to the, um, uh, what's the word I'm trying to think of here? If we can just cut straight to the, God, what's the word? Straight to the superficial benefits of working out. Like not even like the fact that you're just going to feel better. You're going to be more active, everything else. Do you not want to be leaner? Guess what, man? Consistent cardio is going to help you in that aspect. Even though I'm bulked up on a shit ton of treats, cardio does help me keep some body fat off. So take with that what you will. Even though I know 99% of you guys are going to say, fuck it, I'm not doing my cardio. I don't care. Maybe there's a 10%. Maybe there's a 10% whose mind is being opened by that little chit-chat. But let's, uh, let's just park this thing. 30 minutes of cardio inbound. Uh, what do you think? Should I do a post-cardio pose down, unpumped, kind of like a physique check, or just come straight back to the car? I guess we'll find out. Who would have guessed it? <clears throat> right back to where we freaking started. My little pose down spot was taken, so I said I'm out of here. Plus, I gotta get back home. I've got like a 10 or so ounce... Ah, uh, I forget what kind of cut of steak it is. Either way, I got a 10 ounce of something in the sous vide at 127.5 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's been in there for about two hours. So, to put that in simpler terms, I've got a perfectly cooked steak, which all I have to do is sear on both sides with some salt and pepper for not even a minute each. And then I get to have it. Real nice treat. Paired, of course, with um, two packs of chicken ramen. 
as I like to, well, or as I like to call it, you know, 104 grams of carbs, 28 grams of fat, and, eh, I say a negligible amount of protein. Look, I know, <sighs> I know, I know. There's still calories in the protein from, you know, non-ideal protein sources like breads and fucking, I don't know, whatever. You know, if you look at the nutritional label on all sorts of fucking food, it all has protein and, you know, like two grams, three grams, but come on. In, um, in the context of, you know, muscle building and even just life, you know. I don't think that's your best source of protein. Which I know seems a little bit hypocritical of me to say, because, you know, I'm eating like fucking what you'd conventionally trawl, trawl, what you'd conventionally call like trash carbs, like fucking sugars and sweets and whatever else. But proteins, I do take a bit more of a finer sieve to. Because right? I've got 250 grams per day. I want those 250 grams to be from at least pretty high up on the grading scale of well, proteins. Right? If you just go online and look up protein grading scale, uh, it's going to show you, it's not a graph, but it's just a list from top to bottom. <sighs> My apologies. But a list from top to bottom scored 100 to 0. And up on the top... Would you mind taking a quick guess as to what those food sources would be, which are going to have the highest quality and, you know, most diverse and complete arrays of, uh, you know, all our fancy pants amino acids? What do you think they're going to be? This is one sort of uh, situation where bro science ends up being proved to, to be true. Steaks, meats, Eggs, milk, fish, chicken. All what you'd conventionally think of as a, a regular kind of bodybuilder protein source. It's not up there just for fun. It's because they're good fucking sources, man. You know, contractile tissue is kind of fucking king in a sense. Which I know is silly for me to say because I, I drink so much fucking milk. But that's pretty fucking complete too. But up there, dairy products, a lot of animal products... And then the quality and array just continues to decrease as you go down the scale. Mm. Oh my goodness. Like, uh, I'm trying to think, what would be next? I know peanuts is probably up there in like the 70 range. Maybe, eh. I think peanuts are probably up in the 60 range. Wheat protein, like barley protein or whatever. Grain protein, that's probably down in the 40s or so. Uh, soy protein, maybe 50-ish. And, you know, the less you'd sort of connect a high-quality protein source with the food, then you know, the quality degrades. Right? Like the protein in fucking, um, in what? I'm trying to think of a really trash protein source. Uh, hmm. <sighs> You get the gist. Right. That lady was looking at me funny. <clears throat> but, yeah, so when it comes to proteins, I do always try to get legit sources. So, I've been doing a lot of steaks, ground beefs, milk. Uh, man, you know what I fucking love? I need to just, I need to just buy sushi-grade salmon, like... Actually, what, what even is sushi-grade salmon? Is uh, I was under the impression that any fish, reasonably like, I don't know, freshly caught, if it's frozen, that I was under the impression that that would kill all the bacteria in it, right? Maybe not. I'm not just you know, chowing down on raw fish, but whenever I see the the sushi section at Kroger, I love getting the fucking salmon sashimi. That is always just a treat. I'm I could down a hundred grams of protein worth of salmon. Uh, in like <laughs> three, three seconds, plus get a shit ton of like fatty acid omega threes in my system at, at the same time. 
Maybe I should start doing that. I would not mind more salmon on my diet for sure. And of course, that's probably something I'm going to say more when I'm bulking up. I would not want to be just chowing down on salmon for every fucking... For my protein source on even a few meals when I'm dieting, because it's got a pretty high fat content. I might still have it now and again, but uh, if you're trying to diet down, typically it's going to be in your best interest to try to eat foods which kind of have the fat trimmed off. Right? Lean ground beef, lean cuts of meat, lean fish, not this fatty mumbo jumbo, whatever. You get the idea. But yeah. go home, eat that steak, have some ramen. More than likely take a nap. And I'll probably have one more meal. <sighs> I'll probably have one more meal. And then it'll be time for arms. So fully carved up, nice and hydrated. I've been uh, just chowing, I guess you wouldn't say chowing down, but just draining a gallon jug with some electrolyte mix and some silo 9 amino acids. So I know this is going to be a pretty good arm pump. And I haven't even taken my pre or gone to the gym yet. I just sort of know it. If you, um, if all of your little preparations are in order, and you know you're well rested, and you know you're well fed, and you know you're well hydrated. <laughs> I don't think there's anything that could stop me from having a good lift. Or if there is, it's on a very short fucking list. But arms later, you're gonna see that tomorrow. And uh, I know you don't love the cardio videos. There's no lifts, but Arnold Expo, I'm gonna be freaking busy. So whenever I'm like gone on a like trip on the weekend or whatever and I'm not going to be able to record my workouts that's when I'll sort of record these in advance so for me arms is later today but for you arms is going to be tomorrow so I'll see you tomorrow for that